looks like they were really bullying Alessa. Those are some terrible things to write on your classmate's desk. Also, I'm wondering, thief, like, is that really the worst thing in the world that you would tell someone to drop dead? There's this, alright, the screwdriver and the pliers. Now with the pliers, I can pull that, um, key loose from the faucet. I'm so spooked because I'm afraid that nurses are gonna respawn. I don't know if enemies respawn on normal mode in this game, but they do on hard. At least in this school, you can get the gray children to respawn. There's a key of Ophiel. So guys, I just went out for the second time since getting vaccinated. Not bragging or anything, or it would suck of me to brag, but it feels really nice. I got to see it's wild because, like, friends who I was friends with in person for long before the pandemic, I've hardly seen them over the past year, and now I finally get to see them again. There's all these cryptic memos in the in the nowhere hospital. Things have really gone crazy names engraved on a lithograph, the Grim Reaper's list. Yes, the head count is set, young and old lined up in order of age. Then, the pathway opens awaiting them, the frenzied uproar, the feast of death. I, when I was writing my silent, well, when my friends and I were writing our silent album, in third grade, um, the feast of death, I remember writing some kind of note that, that the main characters find in that game that involved the feast of death. Okay, I'm gonna give this poll a five. I already remember the solution to this puzzle because it's the amount of limbs that the zodiac signs have, so this one is an eight because it's Gemini. Eight limbs. Pretty insane. I'm gonna give this one a six. It might be seven, but what's the worst that could happen? Maybe the bull is a four then. Unless the centaur is a seven. There we go. The tail does not count. A stone of Zodiac better Pisces non two. That's interesting because those don't even look like uh, do those count as limbs? Who knows? Cancer, that's me. Ten limbs. I remember first working this puzzle out with my aunt. I know she might have been ah I swear to Christ. Fall on the ground. Uh, nurses. I let my guard down. That one really got my heart pumping. My lock is jammed. What else is new? Harry. I thought Harry would like draw a map, but he's not. You just have to go off memory, I guess. The lock is 
mentioned I had a few drinks, so I'm sorry if uh, this playthrough becomes a little, I don't know, circuitous, alert. The door is unlocked. Okay, this part coming up is one of my favorite parts in the whole Silent Hill series. And certainly my favorite scene in this game. We got the Amulet of Solomon. I'm going to check that item in my inventory. The Amulet is a star-shaped object with six corners, named after the ancient magician. like that where you're you know you, you know a little bit more about what 
what's going on um, in this game than you do in those games, but anyway, what I do know is that um, so she said need drug, she was addicted to drug, she's addicted to the drug that um, they were talking about earlier in this game that Kaufman sells, and um, or that Kaufman like traffics. And she's taking care of a, a patient that's disturbing her. And basically, um, I guess this is the last part. Uh, I'll spoil more of it later. Most of you have probably played this game before, but yeah, she was being kept um, addicted to those drugs. And that was their way of kind of coercing her into taking care of this patient that she's talking about where the wounds won't heal. A lot of jammed locks today, I see. Um, and that patient is Alessa who lived in that secret hospital bed in the sub-basement of the hospital. Looks like I'm over my fear of nurses now. But yeah, I still am not sure what what Lisa means by I'm the same as them. Like if it was, I think obviously she's trapped in this hell, this nightmare. And I, it's just interesting to me because it's like she's even about, it's like her own delusion that she's quote unquote the same as them. It's like she might not even know what she means by that, but regardless, she's doomed and damned. And that's what she's learning. But it's just crazy because it seems like some kind of insecurity or salve or something that leads her to think of this terrible thing about herself. But, you know, regardless, she's kind of in hell. She's kind of dead in some way, you know. A camera. It's just sad because, like, I don't think it's not clear whether Lisa did anything wrong. Like, she was very disturbed working on that patient, and actually we're about to see some cool Lisa stuff. Um, I'm just going to talk about Lisa this entire time. Now we're about to see some cool Lisa stuff though. Look, there's, you see that little ghost at the altar? I wonder what they worship. The light to the future. This puzzle is so random, it would be more fun. Ah, uh, maybe it wouldn't. Yeah, you take a picture and it's a triangle pointing to the top left. Backward square, okay. Let's see if my uh, brain
acid. Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open, getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. Promise. So please. She's begging the doctor not to have to take care of Alessa anymore. That was another thing. Watching that video. That was Lisa, if you didn't know. Watching that video was also so emotionally impactful for me. This whole game has such an influence on me. Like how mysterious it is. How scant it is with the exposition. Okay, we got a couple more like key scenes coming up. The word Eratron is carved on the door. This one is... Oh. This is the bedroom. There's drawings on the floor. You can see that's the dog and then that's one of the flying demons. And then I think that the green thing is the, I guess, the romper, those terrifying jumping creatures that suck and murder you constantly. Okay, so that's not the... Let me just check what that key was I just got. Of Bethor. Is this Bethor? Yes. Oh. Still not done. I have to turn off this generator. Wait, what does that note say? No, I don't want to press the switch. You confounded varmints. I want to get out of here. Now there's going to be those freaking uh, shadow children here. And since I can't hear anything, I'm not going to know where they are. And it's going to be a big inconvenience, folks. I'll put it that way. Okay, so this door. No, I'm not going that way. Okay, um, so there is a door that behaves like an elevator. It takes you between the floors, but I don't remember what it is. That's the Zodiac room. That is not it.
guess I do need filler content so I can get the other other videos in this series as it were have been like an hour hour ten long this one is shorter because I I'm like right near the end I think this is the okay this is the room with the key
just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power, that's all. Coming here. 
there's more where this came from. Stop it. I love this slow-mo. That's that red liquid that we scooped up. Kaufman is a bad person, but I love that he comes in and saves the day here.
Tessa's, like, final gift to Harry as thanks for stopping this whole thing is this. Because his daughter Cheryl was lost in the reunion. But she has enough life left in her to give him a new baby. So I've I mentioned this before, but like I've said, um, Silent Hill isn't, I don't think Silent Hill at, at its heart is about revenge, it's about, like, Alessa didn't, didn't just, basically, I'm sorry, I'm focusing on the scene while I'm talking, hold on, I'm gonna wait till after this scene, because there she is, there's our girl. So, crawls out of the abyss. Now this is about revenge. To get her revenge on Michael Kaufman. For manipulating and enslaving her. To take care of Alessa. And making her suffer and be addicted to drugs. And hallucinate blood and pus coming out of her faucet. I, I love that scene. Um, but anyway, like... It was basically like Dahlia trying to get you... To stop Alessa from... Using that seal to repel the demon. And then Alessa... Hoping that you could come and stop the birth of the demon, and you did, and so she thanks you by giving you a child again, by using what's left of her to split herself like she did to create Cheryl, and to give what's left of her as, I guess, a recompense. But, back to my ramble about revenge and forgiveness. See, it's not just revenge. It's Alessa recognized that the cult was using her her body to make her do something horrible. To bring this creature, this demon into the world. And so while she is probably very bitter, very deeply, deeply bitter, she also doesn't want to, I mean, in her position, someone might want to just die and end the suffering. But she cho chooses to, to fight sound director Akira Yamaoka love him, love his music. She uses the last strength she has to try to do something noble. In the movie, she's basically waiting for the rest of her soul to return so that she can get her revenge on the cult. And it ends in this extravagantly bloody revenge scene, which I'm not unsympathetic to, because Susan Pop, there we go, Lisa Thessaly Lerner, and Dahlia Liz Mamorski. Yeah, I was, well, there's, it's interesting, I'm a Roger Ebert fan, and he gave the movie a bad review, very understandable, um, but there was also a video essay posted to his site by a young critic, who, in, in these days with, you know, kids in cages and stuff like that, um, just, makes an argument. I never understood this scene. It's, 
instead of Harry's wife, now Sybil is there picking up the baby with Harry. But he argues that, um, oh, and we get these bloopers. It's the opening cinematic, but the characters are being goofy. Finally, we get to see Lisa smiling. I don't know, he was saying that, like, the movie recognizes what a sin it is to, to do something cruel to a harmless child, I guess, to put it in simple terms. And, um, that despite more complex, you know, moral analysis, you can't be unsympathetic to just total ruthless punishment. Also, I love that she looks like, um, those pursing lips. Also, these were really amazing graphics at the time, just, anyway, um, I don't know, it makes me think about, like, because that video essay was politically framed, just like, sometimes, uh, how do I say this in a not insane way, sometimes violence is justified, and, but then when I think about the revenge versus forgiveness thing, it's like, revolution is not revenge. vice versa. And when when you're driven by vengeful motives, ultimately you have to ascend through those. And set things right, basically. Okay, so Check out my game result. I got 4.2 out of 10 stars. Obviously, I was um, thinking of doing a 10 star playthrough of this game, so the criteria I met where I got good plus, no continues, meaning I didn't die. I saved way too many times. You can only save two times if you want the 10 stars. I believe the total time has to be under two hours. And then the enemies defeated by fighting versus shooting has to be roughly equal and very high, so you have to stop and shoot a lot. Um, no aiming shots, I don't know. Anyway, I might try and 10 star this game, it doesn't seem too hard, and yes, it is okay to save. And now I get next fear, which is basically new game plus. So, that wasn't the worst final part to this game. I'm not sure exactly how that went, but um, if you wanted a, a scatterbrained ramble, you got it. I hope, I'm happy that some people have enjoyed this series so far. I hope the last part was just as enjoyable. Um, Let's discuss Silent Hill in the comments, and I really enjoyed making this. If you would like to see more Let's Play type things, please let me know. And if there are any games in particular you'd like to see, I would uh, really, I think I'm definitely going to do a Silent Hill 2 Let's Play. Next, whenever I start my next Let's Play, um, so you can look forward to that, but, uh, yeah, let's chat, and feedback is very welcome, don't feel bad, don't feel like you don't want to say something negative in the comments to my video, I understand that, but also, I need to know, I need to know what could be improved upon, um, and I won't know unless someone tells me somehow, so... Thank you, thank you so much, and uh, please do subscribe if you haven't. If you're still here, you probably liked it enough. Okay. Goodbye everyone, and sleep well, or have a peaceful rest.
just appeared.